How many shots did he fire at you people? Approximately 12. And how many shots did you guys fire? I know Just I fired six. I fired about 10 or 12. I know I reloaded. Now these two guns he had, you say they were both loaded? I think they were at the time. They, the time they were firing at us all the while. And was one of them missing from the police department? We don't, that we don't know. All I know is one is a, looks like a service one. Mm -hmm. How do you feel right now, you guys? A little better now. <laughs> So I'm glad to be going home to the family tonight, I'll tell you that. They approached us as we were entering the elevator from uh, the back, spun uh, me around and then spun my uh, partner, Fred Miller, around. And as we reached for, uh, back to get my revolver, the guy hit me on the shoulder and uh, grabbed my revolver. And uh, the other man grabbed Fred's revolver and fired a shot. Was anybody hit by that shot? I don't believe so. Uh, I don't yet know who fired it. Was, we were in close quarters uh, where it was, I couldn't tell you which one fired it, but it was close enough to, it could have hurt somebody. Approximately how much was involved here? I believe uh, the payroll amounted to $52,000. And uh, the men took off down the street, what happened then? They fled through the lobby to Broadway, and then they went south on Broadway a few feet, then they went west on Murray Street, and that's the last I saw. Well, is that the last you've seen of the money, or have you collected I, anything back? I haven't seen anything of the money yet. I understand the, uh, the ensuing developments was that one of the men grabbed a cab, the man who had the money bag, and the other fellow fled on foot. Uh, the man in the cab was apprehended and uh, apparently is the one that's DOA here in the lot. The cab is in some other area. I haven't seen the cab yet, but the police tell me my gun is recovered and the money is recovered. Thank <laughs> you. 